Hello and welcome to Coffee Talk Messages with Cheryl, the Healing Dancer. That's me. And this is the message, your spiritual guidance for the week of what is today. Well, today is Tuesday, the 30th of May. I usually do these on Mondays, but we just had the Memorial Day weekend holiday and I was camping or glamping. So, uh, which is why I'm coming to you in a new format. I usually do these as a live on social media. Um, but I'm creating a video today for this, um, because you know, life happens. So hope you like my new virtual background. <laughs> um, so yeah, welcome every week. I do coffee talk messages where I give you spiritual guidance for the week. It's a collective message, but whenever you are catching this video or watching the replay or whatever, um, it is meant for you. So I will be pulling a card or some cards in a moment to give some guidance for the week. And let me just start off with some announcements. So I am an energy healer, an angel guide, if you don't know me. And I am also the creator and facilitator of Divinity Emotion classes, workshops, and events. My most known class is Healing Through Dance. And my next Healing Through Dance class uh, is only in person right now. And I'm in New Jersey, in South Jersey. Um, so that class is... Happy Birthday Prince is the theme of the next Healing Through Dance class. It's on June 8th, the day after his birthday. So we will be uh, dancing in the park and celebrating Prince's birthday. Um, so if you're interested in signing up for that, you can check out the link on my social media page, or if you're watching on YouTube, the link will be in the description. Also, a little announcement about some sessions that I'm offering, and I'm offering them for um, a donation right now. And that's any amount you can donate. And if you can't donate, then the session is for free. So I'm offering, uh, what I call angelic coffee talk, healing and guidance session. And what that is, it just combines all of the tools, uh, that I'm guided to use for you during that session, whether it be energy healing, um, angel oracle cards, uh, intuition, cord cutting, chakra balancing, but also it includes some life coaching. So you can come to me with whatever challenge or situation you would like to talk about. And it's a safe space for you to come in and chat and we can do some healing work and some guidance in there as well. Uh, also offering distant angelic energy healing sessions. That's basically Reiki, IET, different kinds of energy healing modalities. Again, I do whatever I'm guided to do for you. Um, and that's just a, a session where you can just come relax and we can work on whatever healing is needed for you at that time. And then I'm also offering chakra clearing and balancing sessions. So that's just basically getting right to the shock, to chakras, clearing them, balancing them, finding out which one is totally blocked and um, getting you back to, I don't want to say normal. I don't like that word normal, but back to who you are. So if you're interested in any of those booking one-on-one -on -one sessions, again, the links will be in the description or on my social media as you can find all of that there. So let's get into it. I don't want to make this video too long. Today, we are using the Soul Coaching soul coaching Oracle Cards. Well, let's get this in here by Denise Lynn. And then we will also use these affirmation cards. So let's see. God and God, what message do you have for us today? What is it that we all need to know this week? What is your guidance for us? I know the last couple of weeks have just been like some heavy ass energies and I'm feeling a little bit lighter today so far. So, oh, look at that. All right. So <laughs> here's the card that came out. Delight. I delight in everything in my world and divine joy fills me. Let me read that again. I delight in everything in my world and divine joy fills me. Take that in. Do what makes you happy. Do something that brings you joy this week, okay? Do something that brings you joy, that makes you feel delightful. I'm already feeling this energy right now. so. There could be, I, and, and just full disclosure, I don't watch the news. I don't know anything going on in the world because that's better for my mental health. Um, so if that is what's good for you, 
great. But if you are in a state of fear, in a state of panic of whatever's going on in the world, I need you to get into the joy vibration, okay? And how you do that is by doing something that you enjoy, that you love to do, that brings you joy, whether that is playing with the kids or um, going out dancing or going to get your nails done or taking a nap or uh, going out in nature, going to the beach, going for a hike, going for a walk, whatever brings you joy. I need you to bring a little bit of that into your life this week. And if you can do a lot more than a little bit, all right? Let's see what the book says on this. All right, so clap your hands with joy and let your inner child play. Be silly or play hooky and take a day off. This isn't the time to buckle down and get to work. This is when you should be madcap and spontaneous. Have fun. Your soul wants you to know. Your spirit guardians are delighted when you're filled with childlike wonder, joy, and exuberance. When just one person experiences true delight, this joyous energy radiates outward like ripples in a pool, reaching even the farthest shores of humanity. Your pleasure can rejuvenate you and can have a powerful healing effect on others. Wow. So by you filling your cup with joy this week. Okay. Listen, look at this. Enjoy every moment. Isn't that perfect? Enjoy every moment. I know that it can be hard to enjoy every moment. Trust me. I know. But let's put an emphasis on it this week to enjoy every moment and to bring joy into our lives by doing things that we enjoy. So make it a point to do something that you enjoy today. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. And let's pull an affirmation card. All right. What affirmation do you have for us this week? Here it is. Here it is. What is it? I am becoming a better version of myself every day. I am becoming a better version of myself every day. Write it down, say it out loud. I am becoming a better version of myself every day. All right, let me see if there's anything else that I need to uh, to tell you. We need to raise our vibrations. We need to raise our vibration. Um, I'm always talking about those of you that are waking up, that are awoken, that are have just woken up. It can be very um, challenging. Healing work can be very challenging. And it's only because we're facing those dark sides of us, but the dark is healed by the light. So why not this week focus on being the light in your life? And when you focus on being the light in your life and doing joyful things and doing things that bring you joy, you're raising your vibration, but you're not only raising your vibration, you are raising the vibration of the collective and the people around you. So start with yourself. Okay. And now, of course, you know, because I love Michael Jackson, I'm hearing man in the mirror. <laughs> you got to start with yourself to make that change. And if we want more joy in our life, if we want to feel more joyful, we need to do those things that bring us joy. We need to bring more of them into your life. And I want to hear the excuse that I don't have time. You need to make time for yourself. You need to make time to feel the joy, to do the things that bring you joy so you can feel the joy. So figure out this week how you can do that and make it happen. Okay. I love you. Keep dancing your dance. And I will see you all again soon.